Hello again, everyone. Okay, today we have a Mark 7-inch boxcar. Okay, they didn't make too many of these uh, for a short period during the 1950s. They weren't very popular, and the reason being is on the bottom, they're usually four-wheel, and they had these very breakable and, in my opinion, useless plastic knuckle couplers. Some had the eight wheel, but not too many. But you can take any one of these and convert it into an eight wheel, like I did here. This is the same car, and I added uh, Type G trucks. You can t you can use any type of truck that you happen to have in your uh, parts bin. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using type B trucks that are used on the scale cars right back here. And uh, it's a two or three step process. And uh, I'll show you right now. So let's get started. Okay, well the first thing you do is you cut the skirts off the base or the frame like I did here. You can use a Dremel tool or a Whatever you got. I prefer to Dremel. Much faster this way. You cut right underneath this lip here, because you don't want to go too far up. You don't want to go over this little hump right here. Two down, two to go. And there you have it. That's step one. Now you can take a file or a small grinding wheel and you can just level this off right even with the surface here. And that will be step number two. Okay, here's step number two. We're going to bring this surface down level with the rest of the surface. You don't want to go too far. Just even. You can always file it flush if need be. Okay, now what you can do is you can just finish this off with a file, get it nice and level, remove all the burrs, and uh, sandblasting will be the next step. Okay, here's the finished frame. 
I painted it gray on one side and black on the other. You really don't have to do that, but that's the way it came from the factory, so I just decided to replicate it. And here is a Type B truck that I'm going to install. Been recently restored. So, what we do is we take a grommet, 1 8 inch, and place the frame over that. Now, this particular application, I had to add a few washers to add some height for clearance for the coupler. Okay, on goes the truck. Now, this tool, uh, this flares out the, uh, the grommet. Uh, Robert Grossman sells these, and uh, this particular one I had to uh, turn down a little bit. Uh, for clearance to get in between the coupler like so. And give it a few taps just to see how it fits. Okay, this is really loose. Now you want to tap it just a little bit at a time until you get the right feel. Now if you tap it too much, it'll be too tight. You won't be able to turn and then you'll have to start it all over again which I've done. Learn from experience. Okay, getting a little tighter, but not as tight as it should be. A few more taps. That's pretty good. Okay, I'll just do the other side and we'll put the thing together. Okay, here they are, the completed product. You can see they're really great looking cars now. And they can fit in with any type of consist you decide to put together. They just blend right in with all the other cars that I've got here. Now, you really don't need a sand blaster and a belt sander to put these things together. The first one I did that I showed you on the first clip I did with a fine tooth hacksaw and a file. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, hope you can try it yourself. And if you do, happy building.